Hello everyone. Hope everyone is having a fantastic evening. And again, still a fantastic 2022. How's auto? Looks like it kind of went around the stick that was in the road. I'm gonna have to review that. Um, so at least that's what it looks like it did. Um, yeah, so we're taking a drive into town tonight. And so I wanted to go ahead and just see if we can get a zero disengagement. We have got that once before. Um, we'll see if there's any improvements with the turns and all that type of stuff. Um, so I did finally get to watch Lex Friedman's uh, interview with Elon Musk about uh, version 11, all those autopilot questions there. So as it's suspected, um, Elon again says, uh, Level 4 is what he said, potentially by end of this year. Eh, I, I don't think so. In a closed area, kind of like how Wayma does, sure, maybe. But on a wide scale, nah, no. Level 3, maybe. Like we're kind of almost there. Like if they would just fix the map data, we're probably there. Um, concentrate how this is going to do. And they, they're good for being dark. I have a feeling it's going to mess up here though. Yeah, it's without that follow car, it just can't do it as well. I see it slows way down and speeds back up. That was a good merge considering, well, it merged late, but it didn't swerve is what I'm trying to say. It could be better, for sure. But yeah, so talking about on their interview, um, I'd say that uh, level four at minimum is two years away. At minimum, it's two years away. Um, level three, I think we could have good level three um, by the end of this year. Potentially, the all is reliant on Dojo, and I'd say some updated map data as well. Um, anywhere that has good map data is already great. It's already really good. Um, they're gonna change a lot of neural nets. That's what Elon said. So each component is its own neural net. So be able to read lane lines, be able to read other cars, be able to read the edges of the road, be able to read cones. Each, each one of those is a neural net and it's able to, it's a part of the, essentially the computer brain that helps uh, the car uh, recognize stuff. But, um, yeah, I think um, personally, I'm just gonna be straight honest, I take everything what I say for a grain of salt. I don't know anything about computer vision. I just am a nerd and I like to follow this stuff. So. <laughs> Um, I just like to keep keep up with the latest greatest stuff going on. Um, I probably might take a um, course on AI and learn just so I can better understand it at some point, just just for fun. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's that's where we're going. We're gonna have some good good improvements. One thing um, we should note is that um, while Version 11 will have improvements at first. We should expect everyone, me and everyone else, should expect version 11 to be worse. <laughs> Ooh, that. Uh, version 11 should be worse when it first comes out. It's kind of like version 9. Version 9 had a big back end overhaul change, something along those lines. Uh, it went all vision, I suppose. Uh, and then it used radar. At first, it was not good. I had a lot of issues. I think you got the 9.2, and I'm like, it got really good. Better, for sure, than um, uh, 8.2 was before version 9. And so I think that's the same thing that's gonna happen in version 11. The first version, some things will probably be better, but, uh, but some things most certainly will be worse with version 11 when it first comes out. Almost, um, almost certainly it will be. So that's what we should absolutely expect once we um, uh, get
get version 11. Highway driving is the big question mark. What we're doing right now is what version 11 should have a single stack for highway driving and for um, summing. And I really hope they do a very, very slow rollout for that and they're very careful. Highway driving is where you're most likely to get into an accident if it does some weird phantom brake or maneuver or something like that. It, there's much, much less room for it to make a mistake. And thus, I'm really hoping it's, um, it's careful on how it's, uh, doesn't, I'm sure they will be, but you know Elon always pushing the boundaries, so uh, you never know what could happen. if it gets off this exit the same way it got off the exits uh, for Carl Sandburg. It was very smooth getting off the exit. It could, I think it um, could have been a little bit smoother still. It could have used more region a little bit longer. Um, but otherwise, like besides that little blip at the beginning, this is great. Again, super good. I'm always surprised that right here, it never has ever once stopped for those red uh, arrow lights. Even from the early betas, it never stopped at those lights. Um, I'm not sure it even hesitated um, at those lights before. And I, that you would think it'd be something that it would, would have messed up on, but it never has. That's really such an interesting uh, observation. That's it's one of those things that's just it's never messed up on. There's another set of lights where you get off on the 64 if you um where uh if you long time viewers you'll know remember the the route where it tries to reroute and take a right too early uh at the next exit down on the highway um that also has two red lights and then two um green lights and when i first got traffic light control i didn't mess that up um but I think beta only messed it up once. It actually was a false positive in a good way. It um, it braked for the green light because the lights on the right were red. So we do need to get over here. I don't know why. In 1,000 feet. See, right when the route the takes a right turn, it should just stay in the right lane. Unless it wants to pass someone, which there was no one to pass, it should stay in the right lane. When I'm going to Carl Sandburg, it needs to stay in the far left lane because there's no point to get back in the right lane and get back over again. This is coming in too quick. Holy crap. Okay, I'm pressing it. Accelerator. It, it braked almost to a stop right there. I pressed the accelerators to make sure no one was behind me. At this point, uh, I just need to go ahead and get over in the right lane. No reason to stay in the left lane right now. Still trying to stop. Come on. So that that was a little bit annoying. Um, it wanted to stop for that yellow. As a human, I wanted to push it through. It would have done fine if I let it stop. However, I wanted to push it through. And I mean, why? Once it got through the yellow light, it's like we still got to stop for the yellow light. Even though it knew it was already past the yellow, it decided it was still going to try and stop at that yellow light even though we're already past it. That's common, I'm not the only tester have, to have that problem. That one reported that they weren't even able to like press the accelerator, like it wouldn't go at all, which is concerning. I've never had that personally, but um, if that is the case, then that's a critical issue that should not happen. Had to press the accelerator there to keep him from breaking too much. It does seem to be doing better on this road with poor lane lines. Um, 
besides that car that went around, but that's I'm just being cautious. So the previous update made this turn right here coming up surprisingly well. Like I don't even like there's you can't I can't see the lane lines. I know the turns here, the turn lane is here. So it just has to wait for these cars, wait for it. Yeah. Oh, we have to use. Okay. I pre. It, I'll. Hey everyone. Unfortunately, my phone ran out of space, so it cut off the video. I want to get a, the play-by-play -play in the final two or three turns here. So, uh, long story short, zero disengagements um, for this whole drive. Uh, freaking awesome. Uh, it made this turn here right after the video cut out. And then it made the right turn there, waiting on a truck to go by, and made that turn. And then on the final left turn, it's um, unfortunately I wish I recorded that. There is a person uh, that was on my side of the road. The car handled it beautifully and um, managed the situation great. And then that's where I parked. Uh, otherwise, I'm very happy with this drive. Uh, if you made it this far in this video, I really appreciate you, and I will be seeing you on the next video. Hopefully that is uh, the next version. Thanks for watching, everyone.